Yo, let's get it poppin', man. Jim and I Scorpio Podcast, episode 36. Oh, wow. What? 68. What's wrong with you? Damn. I, I just said From that. 68? Bro, I literally just said my I'm fucking losing my mind, bro. That's like, crazy. The last episode, That's I had to so tell sad. you what it was, too. That, yeah, was, you my told me that was my second one. 67. So this is 68. 68. Jim and I Scorpio Podcast, episode 68. Mm -hmm. uh, this episode is special. We are special. sponsored by uh, Cashline. We got you something special. Hey. Uh, oh, oh, for me. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Special guest, Donnie. Donnie P is in the building. Clap it up, everybody. Hey. Yeah. What, what is this, drink trance or something? Like, I don't know. Y'all think like so much people out there. <laughs> right. I don't know. It's not 30 people. This must be some good quality. This shit heavy. Yeah. No, nah, it's, yeah, it's heavy. You, you, you fucked me up oh, when yeah, you was like, um, you wanted a- uh, A large? A large. Okay. Why? I, I thought you was a medium. Uh-uh. I mean, I like to wear a large because I like oversized. But I said that. Yeah, you did. It's gonna fit well. Yeah. 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 It, should, it should fit Shout well. Shout out to Cashland. Shout out to my man, John. Shout out to Cashland, Doing big man. things in the city, man. Uh huh. Make sure you uh, visit the website cashline.com. Hey, our two other guests, I mean, our two other hosts aren't here. Uh, Gambit and Shout JS Wanna Supply, they on vacation. They said they had to go out of, well, they actually working. They had to go out of town. So I thought this was a perfect episode to like segue and, and, and go back a couple shows and have the discussion that me and Stars was having. Okay. We was talking about how niggas can do better. And Stars mm. was like, let me pull this forward. Cause I'm like, I might even say a little. I something. mean, yeah. You know, say a little something. Just let me. I'm, go ahead on that. So we was basically saying, <laughs> I was, I was saying, I was saying, you know, niggas can do better. Just because you can do things, don't mean you got to do it. We was talking about, you know, um, men dating a lot of women, and y'all was saying like, as long as the woman okay with it, it shouldn't be a problem. And okay. I was saying, you know, I, I think men, you know, definitely can manipulate our ways into a lot of situations that we don't need to be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wanted to say, you wanted to hold women accountable, and I was like, in that moment. We can't hold women accountable because there's no woman present. So let's talk about men and men only because that's where we at. Somebody, let's bring some ladies on the show. Of course. Let's bring a lady or a guest on the show and let her speak her mind as far as when it comes to being accountable and um, niggas doing better, <laughs> women doing better. Like just when it comes to relationship and how we treat each other, mm -hmm. right? Stars, what, say, say, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, no, sure enough. I feel, I feel as though, you know, men definitely have. A lot of um things we have to do better in, but the problem wasn't what you were saying. It was like the tone in which you were saying it. Like I expressed, it's like, like don't. It felt like you were saying men are the problem, and I always wanted to make it clear that like it's a decision mm -hmm. each side, whether it's you taking what I say and like thinking it's the truth, or whether it's me, you know, what I'm saying uh, uh, playing you. Like if you know what's going on, you mm -hmm. can't be mad about it. And, or or and we talked about how women, you know, kind of. Say so if a woman certain... knows what's going on, yeah, she can't be mad. She, she shouldn't can't. be mad. No. I wholeheartedly agree. I That's do. what I'm saying. I feel like when you set the tone, then it shouldn't, then it is what it is. So do you think, do you? I think that some women tend to get themselves deeper involved by choice. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of men sometimes will set the tone for a woman as to what it is in the beginning. Right. Like, yo, I'm not really doing nothing. You know, I ain't really trying to do it like that. That's why I think it's important to really get to know a person. Yeah. Because when you do that, you figure out, first of all, what your non-negotiables are. And you really find out who a person really is by just talking. They're going to talk. Their, niggas talk their way out of ass all the time. All and the bitches time. <laughs> talk their way out of a good relationship all mm -hmm. the time. Because you get to talking about shit that it just don't even need to be talked about. Like, I feel like like we was talking about like women wanting certain shit from niggas. Like you want a nigga to buy you shit. You want a nigga to mm -hmm. take you on trips and all that shit. Women want and dick. like that's the huh? Women oh, and women dick. and women. You know, sometimes women just want some dick too. Yeah, you know some, what I'm saying? Some of us do. And, and you know, what I mean, that's okay. I always, yeah. you know, you know me. Shout out to every woman who just you know know what she want. You feel me? Right. Mm. But besides that, like they they be wanting like trips and all that stuff. But it comes with that. Like you want a man who just throw money at you like mm -hmm. that. Like his attitude with a nigga who doing that is tricking her or whatever the case may be is. All right, well, I'm going to treat you like this. Well, I want some pussy. Or mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? And you can't get mad at a man, what a man demands and for sex as a woman demands it. Like, you want these nice things when a nigga wants some sex. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if y'all okay with both of Oh, what if change, a nigga wants some nice things? Shit, I, man. Then where she at? <laughs> where she at, darling? Yeah, because I don't think a lot of them exist. Wait. No. I don't think nice a lot things? of... Yeah, like a lot of women being open to a man wanting nice things. Like, you know... I think... A, why why you say that? Why you say that? I think that a lot of women, it's about... Uh, 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 a take, take, take. Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus, you know, giving. Yeah, like I don't never see nobody. No, yeah, like all, all the time you see girls posting with the nigga, but but with the nigga posting, I want to post with my exactly. girl. I mean, that's what, what I said in my what? video. What if he think his dick is just as good as your pussy? Yeah. You know can he ask you? Can he call you? Because it's like a double standard. Like right. you know, a woman can fuck a dude and call him, call the dude and be like, you know what, I'm just like fucked up on my rank. Can you help me? Mm. And she expect the dude to come through for him. So I never. So 
I don't know. My experiences was different. Like, cause I feel like when I was in some situations, mm-hmm. ladies always pulled up and came through when I like not when I needed, not even mm-hmm. even if I didn't ask. I think I it just depends on the caliber of guy you are as well. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. like 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 Gambit, which is, I know he's not here, but in, in Casey, he was speaking on fucking. He want to fuck the woman before he take out. Just know if the pussy mm-hmm. worth even taking out on dates on. I felt as though it depends how you look. Like, I'm not trying to. Fuck nobody off the first day. Like I'm thirty. I mean, I'm, I'm thirty some odd years mm-hmm. old. You feel me? I'm not about to be like out here trying to fuck. fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, I'm yeah. trying to settle down at some point or get to know women. So if I get to know women, mm-hmm. I want to take you on the first date. That's mm-hmm. my idea. You right. feel me? But even like far as going back, what she was saying about like you know that double standard. Let's let's hold on. Let's rewind for a second, right? Mm-hmm. I'm really just talking about. You said you said you said something about that that, that stood out. You were saying like you got to get to know people. Mm-hmm. How the hell can we get to know people when we always changing? Right, like we we get to know who who you are in our talking stage is not who you gonna be. And that's why you gotta stage. wait. Mm. Wait for what though? I mean, until you feel like you really get the, you really 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 know the person at least after sixty days. Sixty days, but I feel well, like maybe about, thirty. Who's talking about? Like just getting to know. <laughs> He's like, a pussy. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. We was asleep I'm not for a talking second because I don't know. I definitely want her. Thirty. Every no. time I hit thirty, sixty days. Fucking. Like, you know, was... if you want to fuck somebody in five minutes. Yeah, you know. Oh, shit. First look. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm talking to you because I like what I see clearly. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm I see what. You, okay. I like but, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, women do. Men do it all the time. You know. You shit, see a girl fat ass. You know. You like. I'm about to hit crush this little job. I'm about to crush this little job. You have a motive. Like usually. I mean, sometimes it shifts. Sometimes. But then we. Up liking them, but yeah. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, like getting to know somebody, right? So, mm-hmm. for example, like again, even if it's 60 days, 90 days, however, mm-hmm. I feel like people are different in different spaces. So, like, yeah, they are. Even if me and you talking hypothetically or whatever, right? And we talking for 90 days, once we move in, that's a different person, that's a different side of you that I'm gonna get. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how do we really know if we know somebody or not? I mean, you don't know, it's a risk that you really have to be willing to take because you don't really know if you really know somebody. You ever had a friend that you've been friends with for 10 years, but year 11, that motherfucker done flipped on you. You're like, damn, I know you all my life. Mm-hmm. And that's what we also were talking about is I think society now has made it where relationships are only going to be a certain amount of time. I feel like right now mm-hmm. how society is and how people change, people change every, every five years. To me, mm-hmm. I, feel like. I feel like it's a realistic number, whether it's your goals, what you're into, um, what you like type mm-hmm. of woman you looking for mm-hmm. like when i was 25 shit i was good with a, having yeah. a stripper you feel mm-hmm. me shit yes, you, <laughs> you now you me? know you you mature then you ex, you know you've been exposed to certain things yeah yeah, yeah rather definitely. you expose yourself to it or somebody else expose you to it so the way you think it 18 25 and 30 it looks a lot different so, oh, but i, I think that a certain yeah. age you're now like maybe 30 between 30 35 30 and i would say 32 and up mm, yeah. you really 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 pr- pretty much know exactly what you, like you should be like just trying to fuck chicks and like, but it just depends. Really- Hold on, dog. I beg to differ. I kind of play straddle the fence on that because I got a homeboy who started fucking at twenty five. Yeah. Mm. So it looks different for him. Oh, and that's yeah, what I'm saying. For me, and, and, that's, that's and, and like you said, the caliber of people, the the, 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 the positions you was in, right? Yeah, You've been definitely. on tour with fucking artists, tech now, like yeah. we talking like big artists. Mm-hmm. So the type of sex or the type of environments you in is not going to be the same as somebody that might be your age and mm-hmm. just a regular guy, right? Walking the same. in Walmart looking for his queen. You know? yeah. Exactly, right? My like, queen went on no tour bus I was on. You get what I'm saying? Like even yeah, just even the college experience been in a fraternity, like of course. I, we didn't we didn't see some some things that your average guy isn't going to see. So like I might change at a different age, but speaking of what you were saying, like people change like every couple years, I think years, five right? years, man. I think five years is when it's like, you either figure out if this is the person for you or you pretty much know like, all right, I'm done with this shit. I'm old. Women be like totally over it. So know? Alex- uh, be hanging on because, you know, consistency mm-hmm. is I mean, so hard to get rid of. You know So I'm about to, I got some stats. Yeah. I got some stats for you, right? So Alex, he shout out to- today, y'all. Yeah, Shout out to, my, I don't know what they call Alex. Like Alex is the producer, but he's just, whatever, whatever. Thanks so, Alex. Right, thanks Alex. So my guy Alex sent us some stats, right? He said the average marriage in uh United States lasts eight years. This is the average time from marriage to divorce. The average time between marriage and separation is seven years. So we saying seven to eight years, right? That's mm-hmm. the average marriage length. What happened to like, you know how old, that old love, mm-hmm. right? That old school love that, that our grandparents had, like mm-hmm. they, they, they last forever. So why that's not around no more? Yeah, like what because happened? Because you got things like social media. I think See, back amazing. then, back then you had to sit down and really get to know. You know what? Mm. Oh, I just wish sometimes we had some of that back in the day shit. Like when you had to work hard for pussy mm. and dick. Like you really had mm. to get to know a motherfucker. Like mm-hmm. 
the chat line. You remember the that? chat line was like you had you was really you was geeked to get home because yeah. you wanted to toast to that motherfucker. Mm. You know See, I was like, doing some different you, things on the chat line, but oh yeah, but you I met somebody from on the chat line, from off the chat line, mm. and you was really vibing. You was getting to know each other. Nah, that See, was... for me, you thirty, I'm thirty three, and looking, yeah. it, it's probably not that big of a difference. Okay. But, no, but no. I say it looked a little different. See, it when looks I was a little different remember, for me. You when know I was on the chat line, I was. It was really like puppy love. It felt different. Yeah, like you had. You remember going to school and. That nigga buy you something for Valentine's Day? Like, yeah, you was I mean, waiting yeah. to see the motherfucker come with the balloons. Whoever got the, the biggest class. gift in school. I mean, yeah, like, you me live, gift, your nigga bought you some yeah. balloons. Sure I mean, it's like niggas back then was really taking the time. I ain't never had a nigga to buy me balloons, but. Oh well, a girl probably well, the girl got yeah. Or you probably no, got a girl, girl yeah. something. Nah, facts. Yeah, I, was. Yeah, I got jewels. Hella Valentine's, I got jewels on Valentine's Day. We got the twin joints. See, I ain't get jewels until I was grown because I feel like back in the day when I was a teenager, girls would keep saying, like, my mom always told me not to buy a guy no shoes because he's going to walk out my. Yeah, same thing. I mean, I did walk out of every one of them. <laughs> the shoes were sweet and we look good for like a second together. But now, so I feel so like. So I think things have changed because you have a lot of different type of exposure. Social mm. media, number one. And a lot of people that, these people that a lot of women and men idolize, they're not leading them in the right direction in which they need to go. Mm. Especially like the new millennials. Like they're, they're lost. They're fucked. Mm. Yeah, Anybody no, that's 30 terrible. and under, I feel bad for you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Including but my daughter. fuck y'all yeah. niggas no, like the fuck. I feel bad. You don't look at my face and say, I, 30 and I felt bad for y'all. Like, well, <laughs> fuck you. both of y'all. Like, because you was in a, it's in a moment of like, shit yeah. changing. Like, yeah, we have been so blessed to be different. on both sides. It's mm. so different. Right. Like you had to really work for the person that you wanted to be with. You was excited about coming home from school, going outside, and being left. around. You was pressed to go to school to see your boo. But, so it's now you got social media and it's like made the best Birkin win, made the best right. BBL win, made mm. the best flashy nigga least, win. Mm. They all look the so, same. We can't, we can't, ign we can't ignore that. And then, you know, back in the day, our parents, you know, they'll sit at the table and we all go around and we're going to talk about how mm. everybody's day went. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You really sat there and got to know one another. Like right. my mother is... I swear to God, I feel like she is the definition of what a home wife is. Mm -hmm. Like, my stepfather can't even tell you how to pay a bill, but it's coming from his money. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's that's the type. You know I'm still saying? on that energy. Remember, I told you that. Like, I said, like, little My mother like that. cooks, cleans, shop. My stepfather come home, shop room. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My stuff, I don't have to do nothing. Taking Here go your lunch bag. Here go, I put your food it's on the table. It's in the microwave, you know what I'm saying? I just, my mother could be dead asleep. My stuff, I would come through the door. She's woke, she's up. Mm. But so that's what you spoke on about, you know, in school and people buying balloons and things like that. I feel like that's, we can, that's the equivalent to the honeymoon stage, right? And mm -hmm. the honeymoon, I feel like the honeymoon stage definitely still exists. Like I'm still, you meet somebody, oh, yeah. you like them, you want to you wanna do things to impress them. But what happens when you get complacent, right? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really speaking of the fact of like That's why you don't do all that shit to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got to limit who you giving that to. But what is, so, so we talk about relationships, we talk about old, old school relationships. And, and yeah. I think we had this conversation talking about like forever. What does that look like? Because if the average marriage is divorced eight years, it's like, what are we getting married for? What are we building for? If you're going to change every five years, as you would say, like, what if I don't like the person? That's why that you became? don't need to go... According to what statistics say. Not even statistics not. though, but what if I don't like, we change, I feel like you can agree that we change, mm -hmm. right? As humans, we change, mm -hmm. we grow, we learn, We the, mm -hmm. the same things we like two years ago, we might not like mm -hmm. now, right? Right. I feel like what happens if, if that's who I met, right? I mm -hmm. met you and you're in this one position and that's who I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And then you change and I'm not in love with that that person. Like, is, is that, that shouldn't be wrong. No, I mean, but you gotta properly communicate that with the person and let them know where they falling short of the wayside. But so how they are they, they not really falling short though? I mean, they, it's not falling short. I feel like relationships be falling like that because one, no one's telling the truth in a relationship. Everybody got their own shit going on sometimes. You know what I mean? I mean, of course the truth, is, I think the truth will set you free in any relationship. I feel like if you are literally being honest, relationships will be way better. But I feel like people are scared of what the response will be for Is that true though? Because I feel like some people be honest and people that can't handle it. But if but if the relationship starts with honesty, then like if you come if I tell you like man, mm -hmm. I like like every Sunday I go to a strip club because that's just my thing. I like to do that on Sunday. Right. You feel me? And you like, all right, cool. I see man. But then when we get in a relationship, you, you like, act like you don't know. Like you don't know that I like. Right, but that's exactly that's what I'm right, saying. That's what I'm so saying. Like, that's what I'm saying because like, even the truth, right? The honesty. We come to a relationship. I want to mm -hmm. go to the strip club every Saturday, right? Some people just can't handle honesty, though. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a them thing. That's not a you thing. Mm -hmm. and you can't make it about you. But though. people are scared. That's what honesty comes to play because I'm not telling you the truth because I'm scared of your reaction because I'm scared to lose you. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of this and that, and then that builds up. And yeah, because you, she hasn't made you feel like you are. You know, she's your safe space. Yeah, when you can go to her and, and that's talk important to her and, in relationships. and make it like that. So how do you, from a woman, how how does that create it? Well, a safe space? Yeah, a man. I mean, feel you just make him feel like, you make him feel comfortable. First of all, it's about tone and how you make, a lot of men look for security mm. because 
Like, talk this it's shit. About yeah, I need to hear it, man. Let me Come get this on. one. I talk this shit. Because <laughs> no, I can't I say this. I, you can say this. Yeah. And that's why I, I wanted you on because I feel like you can say a lot of things that we want to say, but mm -hmm. niggas are scared because yeah, we won't get canceled. Yeah. yeah. So talk because this shit. Because a lot of women, like, you know, you got social media around. So they want to live a certain lifestyle. They want to look a certain way. And they make, it depends on, first of all, it depends on what type of man they have been dealing with in the past. Mm. So if you're dealing with a simp nigga. What's a simp? A uh, uh, goofy. Goofy. A tacky nigga. Clown, mm. I guess we call him. A, a simp, me, yeah, a simple mm. ass nigga. Like okay. if you, it depends on what type of man she's dealing with. Is her father around? That's mm. why it's so important to really, really get to know each other because people be having triggers and traumas and they don't even fucking know. Facts. They haven't even gathered, like, you know, found some closure within that. They project that shit onto you. That's mm. why they talk to you like that. Mm. And a lot of women, especially mothers and entrepreneurs, because mm. I found myself being this way, I'm kind of bossy. Mm -hmm. Not like what you doing, where you at, come here now. It's more like I like things how I want it, when I want it. Mm -hmm. But want I it. used to say to people, you know, it's because I'm a mother. That mother bullshit and the maternal shit got to go out the window. Mm -hmm. He already done told you he got issues with his mama. Here you come bring your black ass over here think you're going to be somebody's damn mama. Yeah, that's real shit. No, seriously. I think that if you make a man feel comfortable when he comes to you and talk to him, listen to him. Mm. Especially if he dealing with, if he hanging around a bunch of niggas that's Already making him feel like, you know, I want I want to go tell my mans and shit how I ate my girl ass and shit. Mm -hmm. But I didn't heard them clown the other nigga. But these are my niggas, though. Right. So he don't even feel safe <laughs> even going to go tell his right-hand man. Mm. The next person should be you. He should be able to come to you mm -hmm. and talk to you about anything. But it's about the tone in which you deliver it. Don't don't talk at him. Talk to him. Make him feel comfortable. How, does, if, how, does, how does ladies make, make a man feel comfortable? I mean, you know, I just tone. I like tone. Tone I think and tone's verbiage. important. I think verbiage. Tone I think verbiage. I think men are very emotional. Mm -hmm. I feel like we feel a way about everything from the, the even your if eye, we don't say oh, it. Yeah. Your eye, your mouth, everything. Yeah. You suck your teeth. The, yeah. the time it takes for you to answer a question. Mm -hmm. Like men have, uh, like me. Mm -hmm. Like I want you to smoothly get what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So if I say something to you and you give me a response, and I and especially if I didn't want to say it, I said it, and I'm really uh, I, I took my time with how I did it, and you mm -hmm. give me a response that isn't valued for the time or the pressure I felt to even do that, yeah. then I'm upset a little mm -hmm. bit because it took me a lot to say that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you were like, oh, well, all right. I mean, yeah, I guess. and I don't think a lot of women understand it. Like, it takes a lot, like you said, for a it man a to even open up. Like, the fact that I'm even telling you that yeah. and I'm being a little bit vulnerable. I need you to... I need you to be really receptive to what I'm saying. So change engage. up your verbiage and, yeah. and the tone in which you're, you know, yeah. you're responding to me. I think it's crazy because, like, I'm hearing y'all speaking. I think that as a man, I think... The one thing that I want as a man is respect, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like respect it can be so subjective, right? Mm -hmm. Like what you what, what you deem as respect might not be what I deem as respect, and mm -hmm. you giving me respect might not be what I what I'm seeking because it's different, right? right. So I feel like and, and and in my life, I feel like I want that respect, but I, I don't even know how to like explain what I want. Mm -hmm. If right. that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Like for example, like the tone. When are you explaining this? In the end, in the middle, or the beginning? Ooh. That's a great question. That's a great mm -hmm. question. Men, when are you, you telling women your traumas and things going on? At, at the, the end, most, yeah. That's when I, they find out about it. And I think it. that's yeah. something we need to do. I think we I think um me and Shade, me and Mark Shorty talked about this. Like mm -hmm. I feel like um we need to uh start having those conversations about triggers. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Not even in the beginning of the relationship. I'm talking about like in the beginning of the talking stage. Like, oh look, yeah. Because this then is at there. that point you can make the decision as if you want to walk away or not. Right. If but this is something that I want to deal with, bitch, you just told me you got raped, molested, you got abandonment issues. And you hate your mother and father. You hate your fucking mother. Your baby daddy ain't shit. And I'm supposed to But wait, that. that's but I see that's I feel like you see we spitting so much game and it sound good though. Right. But like I feel like we do be having these conversations. And 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 I think that's why I said dating people in different seasons because we don't always see who somebody is for for who they are at that exactly. moment. Because a lot of times we ignore the triggers. A Everything, lot of times, mm -hmm. like somebody will do something like you might not like somebody who, I don't know, go to the fucking who smoke weed or something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you like this person, you're gonna put it to the side. Gonna but then it. Years later, or a year later, bring it up. They, they still doing the same thing. Somebody that goes now, to the strip club every like Saturday, it. right? Yeah, yep. you don't like it. I never but then that's a personal problem. That's not my thing because you knew who I was when you met me. This is what I was doing. Mm. So you need, I, I mean, mean, what you want me to do? And this happens Stop a lot with women and men when they get in relationships. They expect they like, like, like if I like if I like a girl who wear little ass outfits on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. I'm liking these pictures, like, oh my gosh, she's so sexy, I want so bad. I get her, and then I try to change her and and be like, all right, yo, why are you posting that, yo? Like, why are you mm -hmm. nigga? That's why yeah. you was in exactly. the damn. That's nigga. why I tell people to dress the how they want to be addressed. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you can't but, like her and change it. But same thing for I say men because a lot of niggas like to go out and have a good time with their mm -hmm. niggas, and I feel like women make men feel like they can't have 
a whole life outside of them sometimes relationship, with yeah. a relationship with other people yeah. and, and women do the same thing y'all lock mm-hmm. yourself in with a nigga and then fuck all your Respect girlfriends him. yeah some yeah and, and and then at the end of it you blame him for everything because mm-hmm. you... i i stopped hanging with lakeisha then because you ain't like it yeah no nigga i've been hanging with them i'm gonna still hang with them rather you here and if that can't start like that i feel like that's the issue people lie and make things feel like it's okay when mm-hmm. it's not and now exactly. you're stuck in a situation because who are you for them to tell you the truth People like, are scared are to you? lose. The, but I mean, wait, wait, wait. I, I feel like we're, we're not owed that. As I, Absolutely. But I'm saying in the beginning, it would be great. It'll be, it depends on the type of confidence that you have in yourself and who you are. So, so who if are you're you okay, for, for a nigga that you're speaking, talking to, whatever, who are you for this nigga to tell you the truth if y'all not together? Who am I? Yeah. A nigga, I'm a, somebody who you trying, you? To, trying to get. To I'm going to say, she yeah. just, you, you asked the question, said, who are you? For them to I'm tell saying, you who is who are you for me to tell you every single thing about me, every little detail in the beginning? Who are you? I don't know if this shit gonna yeah. sink or swim mm, or not. Yeah. Who every- are you? First of all, I got conf- not me, but I'm just saying, as some women, I got confident issues, I got insecurities, I got all these problems. You kind of like got me on edge a little bit. I don't feel comfortable. So you think I'm about to sit here and tell you all my motherfucking personal business? Because mm-hmm. I feel like I'm going to be judged because everybody else in the world can judge me. Everybody mm-hmm. So who are you for me to tell you that? Damn. It's kind of like- That's why a, you got to make a person feel safe and feel comfortable. It's kind of like anxiety, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, again, we still, I'm still on the same thing, dating in seasons, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like people can make you feel comfortable in the beginning, in that honeymoon stage. Oh, yeah. Like you said, in high school, like we bring in the balloons and it's like, yeah, I do feel safe, right? Mm-hmm. But what happens now, we're together for a year That's two That's why years. you can't do too much in the beginning. Everyone does though, because but yeah, it's like I, I, yeah. I kind of don't. It's like I I, I want to agree with that, but I kind of don't because mm-hmm. it's like I want to be able to give you who I am. Because exactly. if you say we can't do too much, I'm me. But being, you just have to know how to feel safe about who you mm-hmm. gonna give yourself to. Yeah, like not. But just, you never know. I mean, you it's, don't it's know, but chance, then you know. It's a choice. How? I mean, because you start to see a shift in the person who they are. Mm-hmm. So don't let your guard down, but so much in the beginning. And also, like women always say, yeah, 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 I mean. What do you say? The instinct you just know, you just can feel it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like something ain't you right when you, you look over it because mm-hmm. you know, girls. You because know, you, you know. see potential. Mm. Potential. Oh my God, that's a word that's for women. Potential. potential. I don't know what's oh, yeah, worse, pride like, or potential. Yeah. Should, should we not see potential? I know, because a person could be potentially fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know it's crazy. Ain't shit. You know, you know it's crazy. So speaking of, I think I said this to you, and I wanted to talk about this right quick mm-hmm. segue, right? Uh, Flo actually told me this. Okay. We talking about the word genuine, mm. right? And I used to always be so big on, and I wanted to have this conversation because I saw it bothers you, right? She looked at me like this nigga. But, but, but yeah, so uh, Flo, our, okay. our, our friend told me this. Shout you know, Flo. I was saying, at one point in time in my career, I was like, yo, niggas just ain't genuine for real. Mm. Like niggas is so fake. You feel me? Like niggas only want you around because they want something from you. Mm-hmm. Like just mm-hmm. niggas just ain't solid, right? Mm-hmm. Nigga Flo told me he was like, um, why do you think they're not genuine? Like niggas is fake. He like, that's who they are. They're gen- they're genuinely, genuinely that fake. person, yeah. right? So they, mm-hmm. they could be a genuinely fucked up person. Mm-hmm. So just like you said, they could be potentially, potentially fucked, fucked up. up. So it's like it, it made me it made me think about that. And I remember um you had posted something yesterday mm-hmm. or the day before yesterday on the gram, mm-hmm. and we had a, a like a quick conversation in the DM and you was like where you are now you never know who is who's genuine yeah who is who especially when you start to progress and mm-hmm. things start to come to fruition and shit is starting to happen for you you don't know who's genuine or not it's hard to kind of differentiate the two is that for us to really try to find out though because I feel like we all can have I mean problem. if you plan on having these people in your life but you don't know you don't know you just don't know I feel like I feel like I mean, I've been through it. You know what I mean? I got signed three times. Every deal, it was new people around me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But I feel like once you get to a certain place, mm-hmm. you have to learn how to live with it. Exactly. And understand how to contact people, how to talk mm-hmm. to people. You give your true self a have a distance. Oh, how you doing? I'm stars. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, I really appreciate that, man. Mm-hmm. See you later. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? And keep it moving because yeah. people really try and get, oh, yeah, I do this. Oh, oh man, oh, I can yeah. do it. And then next thing you know, you feel me? You know what I mean? Maybe bad. But or mm-hmm. it could be good stuff. Like, in general, mm-hmm. it can be good, but I think a lot of times we had to just be okay with, you know, taking L's in general. Yeah. When people, when life, taking L's are healthy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how success feels so good mm-hmm. because the L's felt so bad, mm-hmm. you know? So I think you gotta take chances on people, whether it be relationships, you have to take chances on opportunities, even though they might be fluky, you might go somewhere and say, oh yeah, yeah we you gotta, gotta be action. willing to take a risk. Yeah, it just, you get yeah. smarter with the risk. Yeah, and I absolutely. Think through that. You can you have a better judge of character too when you're around people, but mm-hmm. people tend to portray images of people they not because some people are okay with just being a part of something. Yeah. Mm. Some people just cool with just being like, oh, I know her. 
Fact. They all right with that shit. Like, that's, oh, that's I know the her. homie. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, cool. Ain't you ain't nobody. benefiting shit from it. Facts. You're just okay with just being like, and it's the number thing for me, like, mm-hmm. you know, on social media. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Because people don't, they don't fucking know. They just sit like, you know, you didn't went viral a few times and you have all these followers. Oh, let me latch on to Donnie. Mm-hmm. No, nah, nigga, I'm the same bitch that you didn't fuck with six months ago. Maybe mm-hmm. you said I was this. And nothing mm-hmm. about me has changed. I'm still that same girl. So the same way that you're willing to compromise and subject, then mm-hmm. now, when I wanted you, why you ain't give me that same energy? Mm-hmm. You ain't want me now? Mm-hmm. Oh, but oh, I got a lot of followers. You see me in the shave room. Mm-hmm. See me in the spiritual world. You like, let me let me see what I can do because I want to be a part of that. Some people are okay. Some people will subject themselves just to be a part of something they think is great. Mm. They don't even give a fuck if they're not benefiting anything from it. But the fact that they want to be a part of it, like, oh, yeah, I hang with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? I hang with, this my man. He with Jay-Z and shit. Like, yeah, this my sweet. man. Like, okay, sweet. now what? Yo, how does it feel, though? Because, you know, I think this is a conversation that, um, and it's, it's segue from, like, relationships or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, you know, um. I feel like this is the conversation that a lot of creatives don't have that they want to have, right? Because mm-hmm. I feel like creatives get sad a lot of times by themselves and they don't speak up because I feel like a lot of people look at us like, mm-hmm. oh, they lit. They got this. They got mm-hmm. that. But it's like, How bro. How can they complain? Or exactly. Like that. How does it feel to, to not know who, who's really in your corner for, for you or just for what you got? I mean, I have the same group of people that I've been hanging with for years. None mm-hmm. of them have But it clearly stuff. bothers you, though, because you post it on Instagram. I mean, it didn't necessarily bother me. Sometimes I just be talking off the top of my neck from what I, what I see on other people's pages. Mm. Yeah, shit. So you, yeah. so you wasn't feeling it? You, you, nah. It ain't never like... It, it didn't really You like never it. sat in the, in the house like, man, these bitches fake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, of course. Yeah, we all done did that. I, absolutely. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I, think it saying, I mean, yeah, but you know, you know why they fake. But you just, that's what I say, you got to move a certain way. When you yeah. find out somebody a certain way, you don't you get mad. It you is. just move it a certain way. You have way. to. Like, if it's you show no me a certain way, I know how to move with you. Like exactly, and that's real important. Like, don't be sitting, man. People get really angry, and Jay, you know, yeah. respectfully, you a, you an angry nigga. You my I nigga. used to be. Like, how you gonna just, you gonna, bro? That was years ago, bro. Uh, He's a debatable. Man, okay. No, not All debatable. Right. Really, years ago, you gonna All just right. judge well, me on this show? I, I bring it back up the about, second glass of wine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we just yeah. talking about fucking um, judging and shit. And you just, oh my god! All right, pot of blue Jay is different, y'all. All right. I told you I'm gonna say it one time. All right, cool, go cool. back to the conversation. That was look, look, all right, all right, look, look, you're mad. <laughs> hey, yo, let me say it real quick. He, supposed to, he wanted me to get this. <laughs> it's, it's fly. I, I, I was like, yo, oh, I, I, I definitely that? was like, yo. Oh, shit, it's hot. Yeah, you feel what I said? You, you know what I mean? You, you cleaned it up. You cleaned it up nice for real. Like, you did better than I mean, My barber said that yesterday. I ain't know if, whether if I should like take his accountant or not. He was like, bro, you clean up nice. I said, whoa. Oh, we added the cut? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, but he gave you the mirror and look what you like. I never, my barber so is, is never. Gay? Is it gay? We were talking I... about this too uh, the other day. Like, bro, I can it, tell my man he look good. I don't feel oh, like, okay. I feel like it's the, the way you say it. Bro. I'm sorry. You can't I'm... be like, damn, bro, you just sexy. No, hey, no. First whoa. of all, that word should never come no, up. No, listen, man, I'm saying you can't say Look at every nigga in here. They all like at the <laughs> physical shit. No, 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 no. I'm saying you can't. You can't. Right. No, but I feel like I'm like, I'm like, oh. I be, I like he said he, he said he can't say that. I, I say I'm not gonna be like, yo, yo, you look good, yo. Why no, not? What's what wrong with that? Me. I said, yeah, I you look good. Told him say it. I, I would be like, hey, yo, like how you put that together? Well, I see you, my nigga. That's my vibe. You feel me? Like, yo, I see that. Cause you, cause, no, I, you can't even be you're like, not, yo, you're I not can't confident just say, in yourself, my guy. You say niggas can't kill, come in the joint and be like, hey, yo, you look good. I like, said, yeah, bro. No, you, can, you, you, need can more, you need adjectives with that. I need no, that. bro. I can come like, in. You look good as a mug, bro. I like them shoes. Nah, nah I had, that's that. worse. You can't pick say that. Out. I'm saying, Don't say you look good. I'm, bro, you, look good is a two word. Bro, you can say you can come to your man's and be like, yo, you look good, dog. Like I like okay, right? Like that tone was a little better than the first one. I feel like I ain't never like, say good. I never said, <laughs> hey. You look, you, you no, look good. I never said that. Like, it's the ass of me. I don't like that. Hey, you look good. No, I know, no, He's why are you doing this? I, bro, like I never that. said that. No, I, I said, I bro, you look good. But as she said, it is okay to tell your man. To compliment your homie. Yeah. But like I, I said, like should, I, never had, that. I never had my barber ever. I don't know about that. Say, you up nice. Like, you could be like, nah, this shit, you, you, you icy now. You feel me? But like, a nigga be like, you clean up nice. Like, whoa. That maybe, was a tone? Maybe he's seen you, like, yo, you shot, know what I'm saying, when you're regular that shit with me, you like, I ain't even see that. No, it was right after the cut. I ain't gonna lie, my cut, my, my hair was crazy. The waves was crazy? No, it was like, it was like, okay. I needed a haircut. It was fucked up. Yeah. Oh, or maybe, or maybe it was the final. But I never I had a barber be like, you clean up nice, bro. Like, thank okay. you. I mean, I don't know, yeah, yeah. Did you have a mirror? If you had a mirror, he I would like. He didn't even show me the mirror. I had to be clean up nice, bro. You had to take his, you had to take his word. He, oh, he probably yeah, so he probably made a mistake. He wanted to make me feel better. Yeah, he probably had like, a mirror. I don't fuck know. Fuck me shit. up or something. But anyway, back to right. uh, 
I'm sorry, it's a dumb shit. I just I had the powder it's blue. Okay. All right, you keep talking about that I know, shit. Right. No more powder blue. All right, what are we talking about? I forgot, bro. What? I don't know what about t- niggas being genuine. Yeah, okay. The word genuine. Yes, I do feel like that. But do you feel like even getting a man now? How's that working for you? Or, I mean, do she said like especially that? for men. You said this. No, no, no. I like you ain't say what this. I say? Oh no. So I no, what I say? You can read it. I told men you not genuine right now. Well, no, I said people. Yeah. I so you didn't say especially you. I said especially men. I did not say that. Oh, why wow, I gotta go to the receipts? You probably said, do. What, what I said yesterday, I said, yo. NDA. <laughs> <laughs> did we sign him? <laughs> Duh. Hey, yo. Play, yo. Like no, wait, 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 yo, wait, you is wild. You probably, you probably, I probably Look, did say that. I gotta go to the receipts? So, Nigga so said, do, do you, do you, do, are you in a relationship right now? Or you, you might, anyway, no, whatever. No, or no, men no, in no, general, no. forget all that. Coming at you a certain way, maybe they try to holler at you more. Like, how's that vibe? Like, cause I feel like, like when women now? get certain power, like, it's harder to find a man, I feel like. Let me see. Cause this is on me. You want to read it out loud? No, we gonna read it out loud. <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> no, 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 Hold on, no. Especially, especially. Okay, especially men. Let me tell you why I say that. Oh, now okay. it's okay, 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 you're right, you're right. I did say that. The reason why I said especially Damn, men, <laughs> because the, right the women and the men that DM me that I don't know, mm. the men always have some type of a motive. What's the motive? What's like they the... fake like they try and get to know me, but they really not trying to really get to what know me. What they trying to do? They probably just want to be around me or want to fuck just to say that they know. But that could be the me. same before you had the followers. Oh yeah, it was, that's the like, period. It's worse, that's the, it's worse now though. Yeah, it's a little different now. But now you got like, probably like celebrities. No celebrities. I not mean, uh, no, that's trying to holler. Blue checks? So it's no I had a few blue checks, but I don't even know if these are real blue checks. So it's yeah, not like nobody you know for real. It be, huh? It's not like nobody you know for real. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to find out. <laughs> like, tell me your name. No, no, so no. Who it's nobody exactly? I like, I don't have nobody, no blue checks trying to holler yet. Not yet? Nah. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, my God. Y'all so I hot on the block. Face. Yeah. Nigga, it. Hmm. No Nigga, blue checks yet. Yo, come on. <laughs> not yet. No, 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 no. I was she keep on saying yet. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, men. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, that's what's up. No, I be asking that because I be seeing a lot of women with followers and stuff. That's what the fuck are you holler. talking about? <laughs> and niggas be trying to holler, you mm-hmm. feel me? And they don't really be hitting, y'all don't be hitting them back or do you, or do you even gauge I mean, them like nobody? Sometimes do the I, followers I, matter to you? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I, I like to talk to them a lot in my DMs, but sometimes okay. people, um, the men, they'll act like they have a question to ask me and then it'll always shift so you turn into like- You actually, actually be seeing your DMs and shit? Huh? You actually be seeing the DMs? Yeah, 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 I see them. You going a to request? You, you, yeah. you be request. checking your shit. Yeah, I check, check it. That's good. I like, I like engagement. Yeah, I, like I engagement. do too. I engage with the women more than the men, though. Some men I do because some of the men That's what you they're like cool. More. Is that what I like more? Yeah. Engaging in women more? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she came to have a show. <laughs> oh, she sure, she you never know. Hey, he's never fucked up. I'm trying to motherfucker give me no liquid courage, nigga. That ain't gonna work. What's that 10% they gonna give me shit? She said, I'm a, I'm a grown ass woman. I do whatever yeah. I want. I mean, you uh, know. That's but, shadow defense. I like both. Like both. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think. I, I think like society both. has made it kind of cool to like, or okay for women to like both more so oh, yeah. than it used to be. Like now, oh, it's I like, thought oh, you were yeah. gonna say it's okay for women to like. I thought you, I was trying to listen. I was like, going with this? Yo, why What's going on with you, bro? Like, this is the second time you. Like, are you okay? I'm Gucci. Are you sure? But we get your drift. Don't worry about it. Because then, get it. You think it's more uh, acceptable no, now? No, we're not. Like I'm just saying, like it's easy yeah, for women to like women now, as far yeah. as being vocal about it okay. than it used to be. I feel like yeah. in anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I was. Wait. I'm, I'm following your lead, bro. Like you said, I'm. Yeah. Hey, I'm following your lead, bro. That's what you said. You feel me? You I'm said not that. Dope, but I talk to the women more than the men, though. I don't mind talking I, to the men, but some of the men they just go too far with it. I don't think I really talk to nobody in my DMs like that. Well, really? Why? Nobody really in my DMs. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I, I always want something. You know what? Me, people want something in my DM all the time. But they like, damn, don't, they don't want nothing. Like, it always be asking. So you it used to be a lot of people. It used to be a lot of rappers in my DM. Like, mm-hmm. it's still rappers in my DM, but it, it used to be like way more like, mm-hmm. yo, put me on your show, bro. Put me on your yeah. show. And I'm like, you, I get a lot of that. Like, um, we got to link up. Like, nigga, <laughs> and what? do what? <laughs> That's the fuck I'm trying to figure out. Like, we got to link up, and then I'll go to the person's page. Like, nigga, you ain't doing shit. The fuck are we doing? <laughs> Shit, nigga, like, Yo, go pay. You got three top Yeah, y'all got this. Got this show coming up. You feel me? Like, you what are we doing? Or oh, I, ha- you know what? A lot of <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> so I make logos too, right? Okay, and okay. Flyers. So 
<laughs> people funny as shit. They'll reach out to me and be like, yo, um, you know, so I see you make the logos and shit. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to get a logo, and I'll send them a copy and paste. Send the same shit. Tell them how to tell them where to find their uh, font. Send it to me. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But I was, you know, what I'm saying somebody come to me. I got an idea for you. When the nigga say I got an idea, shit. I want to pitch something. You don't have shit for me, bro. No. I got to get up first. <laughs> Fuck is you talk about? You Let me up, get up first. I got an idea. I want to pitch this idea to you because you know what I'm saying I know you be on your shit. You know right. that jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. You be on your yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Niggas love you. have been that. doing that, motherfucker. I've been watching I've been you. Watching shit. Yo, yo. Congratulations. Yeah, nigga. Okay, and I just be sitting there looking like, okay, what, what now? What you want? So have. So I was just saying, like, you know, what I'm saying I got this idea, right? I said you make the logos mm-hmm. and you got the boutique. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, like, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm trying to start my own clothing line. Right, right. So I was saying, like, you know, maybe me and you can get together. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and, and you can help me with my logo. And then you can kind of help me get the clothes. I know you you know the color, you, you got the clothes connect. Yeah. So, so you can help me you? get the clothes and shit. Mm. So what are you going to do for you? What the fuck is in it for me, bro? Nigga just then I asked this nigga, I was like, all right, so what do you, like, how do you envision your logo? That's the only way I can create. <laughs> now I was going to see if you could do that. Nigga, no, you want you to come up with the idea, the man. idea. do the idea, fucking get the clothes. Oh, oh, okay. You want me to start? You your want business. me to start? Your, I get it. Gotcha. You start your I get it. You want me and to then, create you know, it? And you know what's in it for me is that you can wear the clothes and shit. You can post it and shit. Oh, like I don't got my own I shit. Do. I give it to you for free after you help me get everything. Yes, you gotta help me get up first. It yeah, like sense. niggas know, and I don't understand. Like people see followers and see red seats, and they just think that I'm the littest motherfucker. I oh, like you, it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that shit pop. That's they stand out. I saw that shit. I was yeah. like, that shit see, people cool. think that you know what I'm saying. You lit. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. The red, it was the red seats for me. I thought yeah. I was red like, seats definitely. Lit. It wasn't and like the you know the red, the red seats, seats, the followers, the the viral. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, y'all niggas, like I'm still here. Mm-hmm. Have anybody ever shit. came to you and said uh, that you were a simp? Nah, but I'm pretty sure I was at one point in my nah, life. Nah, nah, nah. But the the videos sure. you make, I feel like I feel like ladies could be like, oh, I'm a pick me. That's what it's so for niggas is a simp for ladies. Women, I'm a pick me. me. Oh, I'm a pick me like shit. When the first video went viral, when Spiritual Word posted it, Spiritual World, Word, whatever. When they posted it, I went back and looked at the comments, and my daughter was like, Mom, you sure you want to talk about stuff like this because they're dragging you? Oh, shit. It was probably like 10,000 comments, Mm. and maybe half of them was just women just just dragging me. Mm. But that's how they do. How am I pick me? Because I like, see, when I like fire up under our ass and make us take accountability or sit Mm -hmm. in our shit. I'm gonna pick me. But the yeah. moment I bash your man, they are like, yes, yes and Donnie. Nah, fuck you, nigga. Because the moment I put fire up on the <laughs> niggas' asses and have niggas take accountability, I'm a simp. No, because, because you was what? talking about like <laughs> niggas, oh, you, you just women. We women now. We, we, like, that's niggas can be womanizers. We can. I mean, okay, but, but we can be wear little things sometimes, little things, and want certain things. And, and what my, my conversation was, it's okay for both sides. Nigga get money, just want to just throw money on the joint, buy a mm-hmm. couple bags, and they fucking. And if that's how she vibe that's a but if you dressing like this and being like this way and then wanting a different kind of nigga that shit it don't make no sense you just said something and i'm gonna I'm go i'm gonna go here yeah. you said don't dress no dress, dress how you want to be addressed okay yes. cool Perfect. i don't know i don't know yeah. i don't agree with that you don't no oh i'm sorry because you're supposed to be a you you're supposed to be addressed with respect regardless period oh, so oh, even oh, if oh, no, it's not nobody said no, but you saying so just because somebody dress how you want to be addressed we talked about this on the phone mm-hmm. so if a, if, a, if a lady is on instagram and she got all naked pictures right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to address her sexually because she got all naked pictures? Wholeheartedly. No. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck else? All I'm saying is, so what you, what I'm saying okay, is. so let me ask you this. If you go to a realtor's page and you see all houses, you're going to ask that nigga, do you sell cars? <laughs> Exactly, you're not, bro. I mean, no way. I, I feel as though, but this is this <laughs> what? is what I was saying. Like, but it's real shit. That's and that's exactly what I was saying. And it's like, yo, what are we supposed to do? Like, I don't be mad at niggas when or when girls be like, yeah, this nigga, all you should keep doing is pull up on me. Like, where you just at? Just like, like when niggas that I'll be like, with I mean, money. like you can't expect you a girl not to story. fucking want you for your money if that's what you led with. Mm. So you, I mean, you know, I, so dress how you want to be addressed. I understand it. I was just saying, when I was saying what I was saying, trying to hold niggas accountable, niggas called me a simp. A couple times. Because it was like- A few reposts. You just came in here, you came in here on some, let's- Yo, I feel like- <laughs> Save the black woman and like men are just tearing up them down and but like- are we I'm not like, though? I feel Honestly, like both that's, sides are. That's a, that's, I feel like they are- we're not, all right, we cool. can have that conversation now yes, because okay. we are lady here. Yep, we can. At that moment, we, we were yes. Men, men do some pretty shit. Men have fucked up. I say men feel like they can get what they want. Sometimes you feel me. They can say anything mm-hmm. they want to women. Sometimes yes. So why when I when I say it to my fellow men, it's but women. 
because you were saying a bunch, it was like after a while, I was like, all right, we get it. Like, what about these chicks half naked? Like, it's okay. Like, they like don't be mad at like I said, niggas approach you a certain way, mm -hmm. and like you saying that they shouldn't do that. Cool. Dress how you dress how you, you want to be, be addressed. Dress, right? mm -hmm. Cool. Nigga, get um, money gonna come in that DM a little different. All right, this might be a stretch. This might be a stretch. But I feel like with that way of thinking, it can be. If somebody don't really understand it, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm not saying I disagree, because I agree. Right. However, but to the ignorant that don't understand it, they can look at it and take it far left. Let's say you, you ever heard of um, Gene Day, National Gene Day? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, damn, I wish I had the facts. So, a long time ago, uh, a lady, she wore some jeans, they were tight. Um, she was raped by a guy, and the guy got off because they said that she, she basically wanted, she wanted it because she had on tight jeans. Mm -hmm. I feel like, what you're saying is not that exactly. However, it could be led to that. Because you're saying dress how you want to be addressed. Nah, just because somebody is naked, shouldn't, I shouldn't address you any other way than I should address the next person. I mean, yeah, but I, that's for uh, that's a that's a me thing, like a personal thing. Mm -hmm. I like to dress how I want to be addressed. Right. But so. saying that could be perpetuating uh, a narrative that might not be true, though. Because I understand that's you. You're right, because what if I want to be treated like a hoe, but I dress like a preacher girl or something like that? Like yeah. that? You can and dress. And that's, what, and that's what you were saying. Like, yo, maybe you don't got to go on a first date. Maybe she just want to smoke. Yeah. Because cause I ain't going to lie. I've had a situation. I'm like, hey, what you doing? You, you're trying. I mean, go out to eat when you're you free. Oh, I ain't free till next week. Then. Oh, why? What you doing? Smoking? Oh, shit. Well, you want to smoke later? Like, I just don't fuck? understand the girls who get on social media and be half naked, but then want somebody to. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to be given respect, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like you're leading with your pussy. How am mm -hmm. I supposed? To, you're leading half naked. What if they leading with that pussy to to to, to take care of their business? But mm. well, then, if that's your business, then that's just your business, right? And that can segue us into the next thing we was gonna talk about. And that's OnlyFans. I mean, that's I was OnlyFans. Was... Yeah, a lot of bitches getting on before. This is crazy right now. OnlyFans is very much so new. It, it hasn't even been out. Maybe. Well, I know it probably it's been, been out. No, for it's a been yeah. It's been out. It hasn't yeah. been out yeah. ten years. Yeah, years. it hasn't I mean, been out for a long wow. time for people to just be like, oh, I've been on OnlyFans since '98. Yeah. No, OnlyFans is new. Bitches been naked for bricks. Yeah, been right? naked. Been naked. You been, been naked. naked. So how much of this is my job, nigga? Pornhub, go over there, get your bag over there. I mean, Man. but what's wrong with a new a new state? I mean, it's nothing wrong with having a new platform. It's nothing yeah. wrong with that. But before, before if you Instagram get your money, get your money. That's fine. Get your bag. Get your bag. Bro. Man, I, like I told you, I knew a girl in Atlanta. <laughs> Shout out to her. She got the shit popping for real on the OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. All she do is shake ass. Shorty bringing thirty a month. That's fine. Would you be okay? Would you? Could you date a girl no. with OnlyFans? No, you, but you date a guy that had only fans. It all depends on what he was doing. If he fucking. was fucking, oh, probably. Not. Like what else he go? Uh, I mean, would you if your nigga if your nigga had only fans like you met him? So you could have been so, on that joint beating his dick. So you a date a guy that's only fans? Yeah, beat that dick? joint, bro. Get us get us the bag. Beat it harder, like. Oh, I'm, all right, cool. <laughs> Nah, I mean it shit. You want me to? I don't know if I can. Do you want me to look like? Do you want your girl to do that? You want me to get in on the job? I mean shit. It's just a contingent on what he doing. You got tattoos. Yeah, but they might know. They you. might know. Listen, yes, what you gonna say? I seen Donnie on OnlyFans beat dick. Yeah, it's my nigga dick. How did you see me, nigga? You had to subscribe. It's yeah, thank you for the twenty dollars, nigga. It's my nigga dick. It's my, it's my nigga dick. We use that towards what we needed the dick. Listen, we a team. So if a nigga, if you meet a nigga in your DM and shit, you're like, oh, he cool, shit, everything good, and then you look in his bio, it says OnlyFans. I'm probably uh, gonna tap into the OnlyFans. I'm gonna pay that. You gonna pay that? You gonna pay that for now? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pay that. So that's what chicks doing. They buying it. What's the most? What's the most? You would pay if you dealing if you feel like you're feeling a nigga. Yeah, it's huge. No, it I thought twenty. You gonna throw twenty out anyway, bro? Fuck like like no. Let's see how. See what type of time. I ain't gonna lie to you. So my man got caught. So one of my line brothers. No man. Damn. <laughs> but I would definitely pay. I pay before to see bitches. Like, let me see what this y'all hit on. Cause she always oh, she looked like a good time. Let me so, see. It's and time. I, and you I was see what's mad going on in there. I don't give a fuck if it was four ninety nine, bitch. I don't want to see boomerangs. Oh my god! You, you can post that you're already naked on Bro, this the, motherfucker. It's the same thing, like. The but that's the shit that I don't understand about bitches. You yeah. naked on the gram and, and they gonna, gonna charge. Now you in the shower. Think, and I was gonna say that. I feel like on. I feel like that's you should you should. Did you owe up? I need Bro, a refund. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like, bro, they should get sued. <laughs> I feel like talk about. It. Nah, for, I think girls should be able to get sued for that. Like, bro. You that should be fraud, bro. Yeah, bro. Don't, bro, you got only fans. You're misleading me, bro. Yeah, you're supposed to be popping that they pussy. They talking about, you know, it's not just for tits, for content, for art. Shut up, this is for titties and pussy. Right, you talking about this for content. Only fans for titties. Give me a little peekaboo for content. Show me a little peekaboo. Right, if this bitch, you, you know ain't gossiping in the city, fucking shit. I don't room. care what like, you doing tomorrow, bitch. I came here to see ass and titties. That's Girls might not like this podcast, bro. Girls might not like this podcast. I'm telling you, that's the title now. But no, I But listen, yes. Honestly, I think it's the same way with the close friend shit. Bro. Don't be putting me in close I see friends the green and fucking circle. going to parties and shit like, bro. Oh, I had a lit ass close friends. I was, I didn't have, I mean, I don't have a close friends, but mm. I'm one of other people. 
That's what I'm saying. Them like, I see the green bubble. That's what I'm saying. Them jobs should be lit. But no, so I think it should be fun. Honestly, if you if you got a OnlyFans, and you ain't. I think it's okay if you have an OnlyFans if your girl or your partner is in it. Or I'm okay cool with, with that too. Or is okay with what you got. So you said you will go if a nigga is beating his dick. On if you fans, my you okay man, with that? huh? You okay with that? I mean, you gotta get your bills paid. But if right. he fucking a, if he fucking bitches, you not nah. okay with that? No, 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 no. Listen, but can he fuck I'm, you on it? Nah, probably not. Probably not. Fuck no. Okay. But you gonna beat his dick? But you can't. What? You ain't get no face, no case. You got too many tattoos. We're gonna hire my man right mm-hmm. here to do the recording so he can kind of <laughs> crop the face out. He said he put the face out. See what I'm saying? Shout out to my man. <laughs> she said my man right here. Bomb ass videographer. Yeah. Yeah. You talking about how good See, you, you is, nigga? I got something to do. You know what I'm saying? Get the money up because I know he's gonna probably call. So, okay. yeah. so go up there, beat your dick a little bit. But once we get this money, we're gonna call Dan Rue right here. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Yo, you do look like Dan Rue, bro. Yo, that's a dance right now. Crazy. Hey, yo. No, nah, we're going to get us a nice little videographer. We yeah. don't really do this, motherfucker. No, Especially I, if we, I think it depends on what's going on. Like, yeah, like what I'm saying. Like, and that's what I'm like saying. Like, sure, I know like I, I fuck with her for real. Like, she, she cool shit, and like, she only shaking ass on that. Right. So it's like, you know. So what that's if bad. I. Let's backtrack, right? Okay. What if you know she's on OnlyFans? Yeah. Y'all talk to each other. You feeling her? She like, I'm doing OnlyFans to pay my bills. 30,000 a month? Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's say a year from now, right? Let's say, hypothetically, I don't know. Something go viral by mistake, right? Up to the show or something like that. That's by mistake right now. She went from 30,000 to 40,000. Now she's showing her titties. Mm. Now she's playing with her pussy. And then you're like, man, I ain't signed up for this. But she tell you, I've been on OnlyFans. This ain't nothing new. I That's just why she got, you got to make it clear as to what you want. Mm-hmm. When you're dealing with people. I mean, shit. If yeah. if you only fans and you, like I'm your dude, yeah, I like you said, it's a fine line. Cause what like, if we both? What if I'm fucked up? What if what if we in a place where like yeah we together but shit is rocky financially, mm. and you just so happen to can be the breadwinner in it? I might go ahead and jump in this motherfucker with you. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna have you know to get that the shit bag together one time. real quick, and then we and they gonna, gonna forget about it. They gonna forget about you. Oh, we, you later. never know. This shit might we might take off. Next thing you know, we on pull up X and X, and they really paying us a bag. Nah, facts. Nah, I mean, ba- did you see, like the numbers I see on these receipts for this? I mean, OnlyFans. bang. I mean, I mean, I really, you know, I, let me backtrack. I I would not not mess with the OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Like, so you would. I think it just depends, it depends on what, what they're she doing. doing. Cause like yeah. I said, Shorty just really. Yeah. I've been, been on it. She just shaking ass. So it's like, am I mad at my girl? And if you on that journey, you just straight. Pussy out, popping, got the, you got got the shower that, head yeah. on your shit. I done you seen done some wild it up. shit. You know what I'm saying? Piece Bitch be putting dicks in the shower. Like, I like, mean, dick in the shower and they you, fuck the dick. Why you all in the hole? Get out of there. I mean, what's wrong with that? I mean. So, Jay, you no. wife in the joint who put the, the, the rubber dick in the shower and then, and and then fuck it? that ass on the job? So, honestly, <laughs> my my ego. Now, nah, I'm being honest. Let me know. My ego is a little fragile. So, you're not allowing it. I probably don't even. I, at Talk this moment, you don't I, even follow her. I, I probably can't even date a fucking bottle girl at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm just being up. real. I know where I'm at. Why? I know, man, some things happen in my life that he <laughs> I, just, I, don't, I guess up. you're over like the girl in the scene or or anyone who wants to be. Mm-hmm. So it's not even that, right? It's just it's like we talk about ambition, right? And I was mm-hmm. saying like, mm-hmm. I, it's important I, for me. It is. And it's but not I'm saying so. No. So for me, very important for my for me. So for me, it's it wouldn't be top three. It would be four or five. And I say that because if you are somebody who supports me mm-hmm. wholeheartedly, right? And you respect me and you give me, you make me feel good, like we said, mm-hmm. right? I would rather have that than the, the ambitious part. Not saying I don't want the ambitious part, because if I got that, I'm going to feel like I can do anything for us regardless. Do I'm you like, only want to be the soul? Uh, yeah, that's what comes do to I? Is it power? The main person who... I think is it control? Power. Nah, it's not Do that. you want to be the main person to be the provider? So I don't... Uh, well, you do. what I like to be yeah. Because I feel like... Yeah, I, was, I, I would like, want to be. I feel like niggas who want the, them make be the breadwinner, they also you know like calling the shots. Yeah, so I, so I do, I and, do. What and that's I okay. That's no, not a bad I'm thing. Not that's not a bad thing. I told to you like I'm having speak me. I'm yeah. gonna tell you who, who I am. Yeah, regardless, yeah. I ain't scared of none of y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> what I will say is, I would love to be that person because again, I, I do. Sometimes I feel like I fall into that old way of thinking, right? Mm-hmm. And I want to be that guy to provide and 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 have. Everything laid out for my family. Mm-hmm. That's just I feel like that's how Have we came up. Have you ever dealt with a woman who ever provided for you? Mm. I'm seeing that's where I come nah, in because that's so. why you like that. Yeah, that's why you like that. It's not that everything with, for me. Not have, everything, but have made you feel so secure. Like yeah, like she ain't going nowhere. Like, she got you know, me. She hold me down. She love me. Get rocky and my and I lose my job today. Tomorrow I know bang on tick. So I have. So nine, nine. I mean, Shadé is like that. But again, is is it's not about them because. I'm never, I, I remember we had a conversation and I was like, yo, she was like, 
one day things are going to change. Mm -hmm. And I looked her in the eye, and I mean it to this day. It will never change. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm never going to be asked out where... I mean, unless, like, God forbid, like, um, something happened where, like, So you want to make sure that you're always in a position to... Provide. Always. Even if I got to okay. work at fucking McDonald's mm -hmm. at three McDonald's. That's the type of person I am. You get yeah. what I'm saying? No, so, sure. like, I hear it, mm -hmm. but it just... Unless it's something that I can't do, like, my leg, like, mm -hmm. I, I get... And I'm in hospital or something like that. I feel as though <clears throat> it's important for me because I'm, like, like, I'm busy. I'm doing all these different things. And it just... I hate the feeling of my, your, a woman's happiness is only in my hands. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the idea of you having everything going on, you mm -hmm. busy, us sharing these things, mm -hmm. us building ideas, us building brands separately mm -hmm. to be- What work. that got to do with ambition though? Because a you lot. need to be ambitious to be able to be mm -hmm. in a position to do that. Absolutely. So you're saying you, if somebody is not ambitious that they they're, that they can't can be in control of their own happiness, they don't have to be ambitious. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, yes, it may be key, but ambitious for me. I mean, that that's my experience. You feel me? I mm -hmm. feel like if a woman has nothing going on as much, mm -hmm. she looks to you mm -hmm. for her happiness. But do you yeah. understand that I'm not mm -hmm. saying that I don't want my woman to not be ambitious? Yeah, yeah of course. Not. I'm just saying not. if you, you have these things, I could I could deal with it not being as much. Yeah, you, if, you, if she just uh, if she just doing like you know. Like she trying to figure out flowers. She like flowers and she got flowers she going on. So you go, oh yeah, you do your thing. I got you boo, I throw you something. But, you but as be... far as a woman trying to build, uh, like she doing like she a comedian, you know what I mean? She, she stand up, she got her videos, she's doing traveling and stuff. You wouldn't but want your woman to be doing those kind of things. A ambitious, ambitious can look like so many different things. Like for example, you can be an ambitious, I mean, ambitious mother. In like, something. I think he, I don't know. Maybe we mean the same thing. I cannot date a man who lack ambition as yeah. well neither. No, and I don't know if it's because I'm an entrepreneur mm -hmm. now. Like I've been that doing might be my it too, because I am too. And maybe that's what we now. we just know how hard the grind is, and yeah. you want to have a partner that works just as hard see, as you. Like know what that looks like. Yeah. So like I was talking to one of my homeboys, and like I fuck with him. I think he's a great guy. I think you know he he. You got he has, only fans? Huh? You got only fans? Nah, he lacks ambitions. Ambition. Mm. Oh, that's why I don't. I could never date him. Like right. I could never. Like he's a great. I think he he has the potential mm. again to be a great guy. But you're 35, and I had a conversation with him. I asked him what his goals were. He said he don't have none. It's I'm crazy. That's tough. No, it's crazy. So I, I was in a I was in a situation <laughs> like, where I don't like that. somebody um I felt like they didn't have enough ambition. It's, it's weird that we saying this because mm -hmm. I'm on the other side. But I I remember I was dealing with somebody. You know, they was making a lot of money from their job because they was working in a club, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But. I just felt like it was, that was it. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some and people like, get complacent and comfortable. And I wasn't comfortable in that, in that situation. But yeah. to hear it, like, I guess I've grown. Like, now, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't be as, like, upset if, again, if the respect is there, mm -hmm. if the, the the uh I don't know, like you said, making somebody feel good. If that's there, right. the ambition don't, it don't have to be So that overpowers blown. the ambition. Ex that'd be good. Okay. Thank you. Take it out. Take the yeah, for me, no. I need you to be <laughs> ambitious. For me? No, yeah, enough. and I feel like women, and I be talking to women about that, too, like, some women just won't be taken care of. Oh yeah. And I don't really like oh, yeah. that shit. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with, that's how you roll, but mm -hmm. I definitely want my woman to, to not look to me for everything. everything. I feel like yeah. I, I must just be a mm -hmm. sore thumb because like, I, no, I just, don't no, I don't mind. You don't mind that because bro, you, maybe if, you like to But if she makes me control. feel great, bro, that, maybe because I, I feel like I'm misunderstood, right? Maybe you are. I am, mm -hmm. but no, not in this situation. I'm, I said, I feel like I'm misunderstood a lot. Mm -hmm. So if I have somebody who just like understands me and mm -hmm. respects me and all this and all that, like that's the best feeling in the world. So mm -hmm. if you want to be taken care of, I'm gonna do everything in my power to take care so, of you. So, I mean, it's all in choice. And like, and like she said, like different men like different kind of things. And it's like we was talking about. We've dated. I've dated a lot of different kind of women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you dated a lot of different kind of women. And we've had experience that have put us in a certain place of how we want it now. Yeah, mm -hmm. it goes back enough. Every five years, change, change. The woman you're with, that fifth, then year five, you might be like, you know what I mean? This is not really what I right. want, yeah. and it's okay. I feel like it's okay, and I feel like I'd rather y'all do that than be depressed and be fucking Facts. holding on and making y'all kids depressed Facts. with y'all. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's just what life is now, and I feel like you I know, need that ambition. Nah, facts. I, I mean, mean I, why not? But, but I feel like, like I of course PPP. you do. But I'm not, and I feel like that's that conversation is different though. Yeah, for that's you, that's a it's double different. standard. I feel like uh, if you, uh, every, me personally, and I'm gonna say this, I don't give a fuck. I feel like every man should be ambitious. Mm -hmm. I don't like believe everybody in, should be. Yeah, yeah, everybody should be ambitious. That's see, yeah. but that's no, the conversation no, no. right there. I, but I believe everybody should be ambitious, but especially men. And I feel like if you're a nigga, I just was grew, I grew up in a in a single parent household, mm -hmm. and I couldn't as a twelve year old, I couldn't just be laying down on the couch. Mm -hmm. Never, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I feel like no man should ever be like. I don't know how I feel about the stay at home dad thing. I know that's oh, going. I know I that's going to kill. No, I ain't. You said that. What's wrong with stay home so, dad? 
about men being stay at home dads? I don't think I, I don't, What's wrong with could it? Could a man be a stay at home? Why could yes. why can't a man be a stay at home dad? They can. They I can. took him. Yeah, I took, no, I, took him. I, I, I Yeah, I'm with I my daughter every day. I think he could be a stay at home dad with uh some type of Oh. So you full of shit? No, no, no he gotta have something. He, he not, gotta be. He gotta yet. be headed in the right. Like if he lost his job or some shit went, like i.e. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Say for instance, if you're still working and you got y'all got kids, he was the sole provider for the family financially. Mm -hmm. He's not working now. You have to pull his weight plus your weight. Instead of putting the kid in daycare, mm -hmm. let's pull the kid out. You stay at home for three months. But in the midst of that, I see that you pushing and you grinding and you doing that, motherfucker. Right. And how you going, you know what I'm saying, get back on your shit. I'm all right with you staying home for a little bit. Is it the yeah. same, but is it the same requirement and expectation from a woman? Because I feel like be. a stay at home woman, a stay at home mom, I, I'm not expecting you to be on your shit. I'm expecting you to take care of your shit. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of women don't know what it is to be a stay at home anything. Especially now, women. Especially now, the women we getting right now, bro, is different, bro. A lot of women just want to be, like you bro. said, just be taking care of. They want to take, take, take. They want to just take nothing. pictures mm -hmm. on the Instagram by the wall. Somebody bro. told me that they wanted to be a stay at home wife, and I said, I was just asking. I was like, so do you not a cook? She said, no. I said, you gonna be a stay at home nothing. Yeah, you can't like, fucking. You gonna be a stay at home alone. Something to you. <laughs> stay at home by your damn. The, the last thing you want to do is not be able to fucking cook, and you can't bring nothing you to can't the table. You can't do nothing. You better be able to make the best sweet potatoes every month. You better make sure I forget while eating this food that. That you yeah. don't do shit. That you get on my fucking nerves. No, like, my mama. Yo, so before we get out of here, I wanted to talk about this. How did you even get into this whole? What 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 would you even say? What would you call it? What you doing right now? Like like how did I you get into the space? Shit. How did mm -hmm. you get into the space of talking shit? I don't know. I just be on my phone, and then I go for like the mass majority of my videos come from personal experience of how mm -hmm. I was as a a woman, mm. a little girl. And that's crazy that you say that, right? Because we had a conversation in Stars. You you you, uh, you opened the show last week saying, I think you were just talking to yourself, yeah, right? And I feel like a lot of times that's what happens. It's like, man, I'm really just talking talk to, to myself, yourself. right? I'm really just giving myself advice or like yeah. mm -hmm. looking at the things that I've been through. Oh yeah, it come from experience. How dumb and stupid I am. Mm. But it's just, you just, just pull it. Like you, something could just yeah. tick. Like you be but, driving and you just, just see something. Just you be like, driving oh. driving or I'm hearing and I, a song or yep. I'm having a conversation with mm -hmm. my homie. I'm like, ah, I got to write this. Yeah, because quick, I got to talk, talk about this later. How do we, how do we, I feel like that's a thin line though. Cause I feel like a, a part of that could be projection though. Like we putting this energy in the, in the world because it's something that we've been through or something that we did. It's, so it comes off I mean, I'm like, speaking from a woman's standpoint. Yeah. I mean, I not. I but not you, can you speak from a woman's standpoint? Like, like we said, I was speaking from a man's standpoint. But can we speak from a can we speak from a man's standpoint or a woman's standpoint? And we need to be speaking from uh, our self standpoint. I mean, listen, I just throw it out there, and if it fits, it fits. Mm -hmm. it fits but I feel what? like a lot of us women do it. Like I, I mean, I'm a woman. I hang with a, I've been around a lot of women, and I myself, I've seen what I've done. The and that's what I was trying to say. But you understand, so like, like niggas, like a room full of niggas, that conversation ain't. The room but with it the females be, in there. But when it, a room full of women ain't the same conversation when a man mm -hmm. enters. We things we know, things we talk about, the slimy shit we we know of in life, mm -hmm. they know the same shit on the other side right. that yeah. we'll and, never and know. And I'm saying how she can challenge the woman from like, yo, like you need to be. With I think a lot woman. of women would be wanting to say some of the things that I say, but just don't have the courage yeah. to do that. Super because related. Don't even actually, put it together. They 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 know. Cause they're living it, or they've mm. been through it, or they know somebody that's going through it. Like oh, some yes, bitch, all that yeah. shit. Like, I yes, feel that. just exactly what they were saying. They yes, love that sis. shit. You I feel like sis. I feel like we should be able to uh, to um, hold our counterparts accountable. Oh you know yeah, what I'm mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like a lot of times people are just scared. Like yep. if, if I'm telling you, like it's the lack man, of accountability. Yeah. So yeah. it's like when I make women accountable again, I'm gonna pick me for some women, but some women be vouching for me inside me and back in my play. But then the moment that I like fire up under a man's ass because now I'm going against the grain. Mm. It's like, ah, yes, bitch, you know yeah. like, What was your best video? Um, she had a milli one on there, y'all. I was lurking. I want to say the first one that went viral about praying for a man that you're not ready for. Oh, I remember that one. That's how I saw my scene though. When I said that a woman is praying for something that you're not ready for, you praying for a man that make $100,000, here you have a McDonald's salary. Mm. You praying for a man that have all of this stuff his life put together, he you got abandonment issues with your daddy. You still mad at why your father didn't hug you. Mm -hmm. You praying for a man that got Tom Ford and you only wearing Bath and Body Works, and, you, and it's not a problem. And, but you think it comes from social media for real? I oh, yeah, I think it comes. Absolutely, wholeheartedly. Mm. Social media is mm -hmm. killing us. Social man. media and the people that they surrounded themselves with. Like literally, that's all we're waiting for. It, like even when so it's like, what are you going to do? You praying for this good, good man? I'm not mm -hmm. saying that you don't deserve it. No, but be careful what you ask for because see, you're gonna ask for the wrong thing at what the wrong time, it. and then God gonna put it right there in front of you, and you are gonna destroy it. You are gonna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. What so you gonna do with it? Do you think that like, cause when you hit, when I hear that, right, this might be sick. This might be fucked up. But <laughs> when I hear you praying for a man with like 
I don't know, uh, a million dollar mm-hmm. salary, but you work at McDonald's, mm-hmm. right? You have a McDonald's salary. I make that McDonald's salary. I feel like what comes with that is I make all the money and I need you to listen and shut the fuck up. Absolutely. It's power. Right. And I feel like, I don't know. That's how what you like. So that's not that what shit you turn really you on, want. bro. I don't think. I that's think just, that a lot of shit, women. Bro. That's my shit. That's your shit. You just like being a man for real. Yeah. I do. I ain't gonna you want like your woman to look at you like you. I just, man. I just know that yeah. today's society, I can't just come out and say like, I just want you to shut the fuck up. I mean, I mean, honestly, if I had to be real, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, <laughs> not nah, shut the fuck up as a. I think that a, women just instead of praying for that and ask him to make you that type of woman for mm. that man. Ask him to prepare you for Damn. if that man comes. That's a different type of prayer. And people took the message and then went left with it. Mm, right. Like you manifesting and asking for all of this. He not giving it to you because you can't even what you can't even do right with the McDonald's salad. You can't save $50 the first. Mm. What you finna do with this man who got his life together, he financially stable, what you finna do with him? Is it the same way with- uh, Men? Not even uh, men, mm. um, just- how we treat our lives, right? Lifestyles. Let's say yeah, absolutely. you want this big ass house, you can't even take care of your fucking studio apartment. You can't. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So why you think why why? You praying for the wrong thing. You need to be praying for asking God to give you the guidance and to make you into this woman for this man. Get you prepared. Prepare you. Mm, where are you where just, you think you at now? Cause you got all this knowledge. You can you can spit all this I shit. I mean, I'm single because <laughs> Because um you still ain't got your shit together. No, I got my shit together. You got your shit together because you want to be single. No, that's not true. Something that's gotta be that do with that. I'm single. So why are you I'm single? single because I haven't came across the man that I like. That What's I the mean? man that you like? I like men who take accountability and mm-hmm. uh, initiate and know what their love language is. I think love, learning your love language is super. Do you know important. your love language? Do no. You know your love language. Uh, that's why you got control issues. Mm-hmm. No, I, I know, know my love, love language. language. I know my love language. You do. Uh, words, mm, not words, words of affirmation. affirmation. Yeah, words of affirmation, affection. Uh, like every girl with love affection language. is number affection one. Affection has is become big one. for me. I yeah. was not an affectionate person as a young as as youngest. It's uh, five of them, right? But now, mm-hmm. now I like I like being I like you being mm-hmm. up under me. I ain't gonna lie. I like affection. I like kissing my, you randomly. I like smacking one. on the ass. And you so, yeah, lie. I like PDA. I, I, like, I, I like affection. My affection look different. What yours look like? I just want to be with you all the time. Okay, that's, that's good. It's affection, nigga. That's affection. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, soft ass nigga. Now you can't hang out all the time. No. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't want to hang out all the time. Quality time. No, we can hang out. Yeah, quality yeah, yeah. time. That's what you, you know like. What I'm all the time. Mm-hmm, that's quality. See, I don't time. like. I like all, quality time. I like quality time, but it feel way much better. <laughs> like when all I, the time, anticipating it. All yeah. the time, I want to anticipate it. Like yeah, I don't want to be there every day. Nah, that's why I like my woman busy because I need to be missing you. I might be controlling, bro. I'm still growing. I ain't scared to talk. I ain't get fucked up. Imagine five years old is gonna be different. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying, I want to be with you all the time. No, I don't want you. If no, nah, you no, nah, yeah. You, if you want to go out, okay, cool, whatever. But nah, I don't like it. Yeah, I, I, like my, I like my girl going out with her friends, just knowing she being loyal, just knowing she going. All these niggas look at it just to come home, and, and I'm fuck the shit nah, out of her. Like I like that energy. Me. I like my bitch going out looking good and trusting. Her so that why you want her with you all Be the time? Hmm? Are you insecure? We all are insecure about something. Levels of it. Like I come feel like on, that. like I'm not scared to have this conversation. I feel like a lot of people we are are scared. To to be in tune with their uh, fucking feelings, like I think men, yeah, men's yeah, biggest fear is looking stupid. Bro, I think we, mm-hmm. we run our whole so lives off of looking I think, dumb. Mm-hmm. I said this before. I really think it's um. I don't want to say survivor's remorse, mm-hmm. and I think it's PTSD. You know, because I have been in a lot of situations where I was that guy mm-hmm. making fun of the guy that it was happening to. Mm-hmm. So I would a lot of times I was the guy recording the girl dubbing her boyfriend right mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm getting i'm sending it to the chat like look at this dumb bitch like she her boyfriend calling us she right. saying she with her friends right mm-hmm. i was that guy so now on the flip side that I'm, I'm like i'm not that guy anymore or i'm trying not yeah i'm not that guy anymore <laughs> i feel like that's like one of my worst fears like I, it's like i keep replaying it back in my right. head it's like all i can see is me doing that and somebody doing that to me because yeah. karma is real so, right. yeah. so yeah, I wouldn't say it's insecurity. I think it's PC, PTSD. And that brings But you're back. not insecure at all. So you're not- nah, yeah, Wait, no, yeah. there's some things I'm insecure about. Hell yeah. Like yeah. when you're dealing with a female. Yeah, like mm. for one thing, like I ain't the richest nigga in the world. Like yeah, yeah. that's a, definitely a big insecurity for me. Okay. You know I mean like to be real, cause it so is- you, But it you're is. not the one to be like, who you talking to? Why you going out? Well, who you, when you doing this? Who the fuck is that in the background that I hear? Mm, I don't think that's me. Nah. But I don't want you, I, I, I don't want you uh, having like whole friends. That's me. Mm, how you feel about it? <laughs> birds of a feather. He believes. He I believes believe wholeheartedly. Birds of a feather flock together. I, I do. Think I, don't. No, I don't. I, yeah, I do. I think it's situational. I don't. I don't always believe in it. Mm, I mean, like, I bet I you if you have so. five rotten apples and one uh, one of them are not, it's, eventually it's gonna be rotten. Mm. It is what it is. I mean, it depends just, on how close you are to that. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, huh. 
I think yeah. even 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 in fellas, right? Like if, I, if I'm hanging around with a bunch of my homies and they cheaters, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I'm. A, I'm a, I mean, because energy interest. is real, it's going to end up rubbing off on you. So if, so if energy is real, how don't you believe that? You're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, it just depends. You're right. You're right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One for the right, yes sir. <laughs> yeah, one for the right. Look at you. Right but I just think it. Um, it just depends on who you are in as you in the who space you, you are. Yeah, in. Like that's, how that's confident I, you are with that's you. That's why I wanted because I got that. homies that be on some hoe ass shit. I be like, bro, go turn up, do your thing. I'm not with that goofy ass shit. Right. But that's why I wanted to have that concept about seasons, bro. Because again, who you are in your particular season, but that don't make me wrong for who I am. It's just I might. I definitely think we should make breaking up way more like. Okay. Okay. Right. Like mm -hmm. I definitely think men and women, whether it be men wanting to have ownership of women at the like I don't want to buy a fuck with you, like fuck that. They be mm -hmm. get crazy or mm -hmm. women doing the same thing, like no. Allow and let go. Allow no women like like you said, consistency and, and, and being comfortable. Like women to stick with a, a bad nigga for like <laughs> years. Five, six years. Because mm -hmm. of well, I think a lot of times Because it's a benefit there. A lot of women stick for benefit. But well, I they think, just don't feel like you're not even that. another nigga. I think, and they're comfortable. I think a lot of times the comfortability mm -hmm. and a lot of times we holding on to a time. A lot of times, time is in the past. Oh yeah, that time is bullshit. I'm sick of it. It sounds good. It you, I'm cool with marrying. Like, my I know a lot of guys much. who if it's, still. If you're supposed to be married, we ain't talking about. We talking about like leaving. Like, oh, yeah, I know a leave. lot of guys who are still in fucked up, toxic relationships because they're like, you know, I really, you know, I've been dealing with her for like nine years and shit. We got a kid together, and I grew up with that's my the first baby, thing my you father. You know that's real saying? though. We can't ignore my house and shit, and I don't want my kid to see that. So your child is gonna love you. Regardless. Regardless, but we please. can't ignore that though. Like that, like we say, like a lot of these things, it sounds good until you're in it. Like yeah, like bro, yeah, we shouldn't worry about time, but it's real. You be in a situation with somebody for years, you grown with this person, y'all fought together, y'all struggle together. Of the course, you don't want to just break you up. You saying with this time, but you saying yeah, okay, we gotta look at time, but you gotta look at time too, like on the other end, like right, man, yeah, we've yeah. been this, yeah, we, how long are we gonna be arguing? Exactly. Bro? Why like, you are you literally still arguing doing with me every fucking day? So if you're day. thinking about time, you gotta factor in those things too. Because yeah. if we've been together this long, then you should know me, and I should know you. We shouldn't even be having this conversation. The but conversation should look a lot different. Mm. Why believe, are we doing this? Do you believe in marriage? Um. I said something to you about marriage early, and you ain't really. You was like, you was like, you ain't want to say. I think she want to get married to a man. She want to. She want to get married to a man and a woman. Uh, woman. Huh? You want to get married to a man and a woman? No, no, no. Oh, I thought that's what you I said. definitely don't want to marry a woman. <laughs> I'm fucking up. You're trying to be slick. You trying to find it out? No, I don't want to marry a woman. No. Oh, I mean, don't don't marriages exist? Yeah, but um, I don't. I I can't say I don't believe in it. I'm just not all for it. Whatever you. You okay being with a nigga for? Yeah, because I don't think that a a wedding. Is going to change the dynamic of how I feel about you. Okay, so well, man, that's just that's just you. Some women look at that as the, the picky white fence and all. Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah, I know a lot. Of my homegirls like that. She's like, I've been with this nigga for this long, and I I want to have another baby with him, but I need to be married. I know people who are who've gotten married and the shit just fucking collapsed. I mean, I don't know nobody with a good marriage. Yeah, besides my mama. God bless her. Yeah. You don't know nobody with a good marriage. My a mom. good marriage? No, no. Nobody? Yeah, I don't know anybody. Not like in my generation. With no issue, like like. I like, mean, but yeah. that's not that's a, that's a Wait, that doesn't mean I mean, it's not a good issues, marriage. You talking about like divorce? I mean, yeah, a happy, mm -hmm. a happy marriage. Or, but, like you just genuinely love each other. I know and a few. No, ain't yeah. nothing. Y'all you, ain't beefing every day behind the, I know, the smiling I know. faces on Instagram. I know. Y'all not beefing behind the scenes all the time, making it look like. Because that's what's going on half the time. And I think that like, like nowadays people put too many people in their business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why the fuck the marriage and the relationships. Posting. You put too many you fucking talk, people in your you business. You talked about um how... Your, your father coming home and your mom's like already having the My water. My stepdad. Your, step, mm -hmm. your stepdad coming mm -hmm. home. Mom's already having the water ran and things like that. But we can't ignore the fact that he had to do something to, to make her feel that comfortable to make sure that's done. Right. He the one who told her to stop working. So mm -hmm. clearly she made him feel comfortable enough to do it. Mm -hmm. So. I feel like that's that's something we need to normalize, man, mm -hmm. is, 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 is both sides having this, you know what I mean? Certain understandings. And again, back in the day, there was no social media. You really yeah. had to get to know um, a person. My mom is almost 70 years old. So jobs mm. that were, they were very limited for women back in the day. So it was only right for a man to be the sole provider for a woman financially back then. And I mean, I you had crazy. women at work, but. I think it's crazy. My father, my father is actually 74. <laughs> Crazy. My mom yeah, is so. seventy, like seventy three. Your so, mom? Yeah. Oh, she's like wow. 70. Yeah. Like so, it's like we're we're reaching that point with parents of like seventy something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like my dad is from the same era. Like when we growing up, you know what I mean. My dad, I love my dad, man. My, my mom raised my myself though. Mm -hmm. My dad was a dad that like, what's your birthday? You know, what you need? Like mm -hmm. I buy the big gifts. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate. It. And he, he, I come get me, he take my little big trips and stuff. I think we went mm -hmm. to Disneyland when I was younger. He he come and do it. But I tell, I use this all the time. I trade all that 
Jordans, all the PS2s, mm-hmm. all that shit, just to have him like come get th- me more often. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it is. My mom's, you know, my, my like my story is a little different because like I don't think it's control. Like when it comes to like me wanting to be a silver provider, yeah. mm-hmm. because like my mom, she was, I, I'm a blessing child. My mom's just raped. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Right, right. And like I never forget. Like I always think, I always say like when somebody is raped for you to have a child from being raped mm-hmm. for me i can't even see that like you know what i'm saying i would i would never even probably I, I probably wouldn't never advise that like yeah have that child like no yeah. like you didn't right. that wasn't your fault right so for her to even have me was like astonishing right so like for me and i've seen the struggle that she went through for me i've seen the, the the shit that we had to go through just her being by herself being an older woman mm-hmm. her not being able to relate to her son her not being like because it was a lot of things that was yeah. going on like it was children was fighting with their parents at one point in time mm-hmm. back in the day she would never be that person right mm-hmm. so like i always wanted to be somebody to, to like take away that burden from my woman because i saw how it was mom. with my yeah. mom you feel me so and there's nothing wrong with doing that you just got to make sure that you're taking it from the right woman yeah mm-hmm. It's You're putting the right woman in position to receive that. Yeah. Because everybody don't, isn't deserving of that. Mm. So That's a fact. I think this conversation was great. Um, thank you for pulling up. Oh, definitely, Don. Um, You're amazing. It was definitely a different type of vibe because the last two weeks was like kind of like... Yeah, it's just a bunch of niggas man. talking shit. You know, yeah. sometimes we get so out this of is, I think we got some substance from balance. this one. Um, okay. Definitely appreciate you for pulling up. Are well, you welcome you. to pull up any it. other time. Um, if y'all don't know, you can follow her right now. You want to spell it out? I know you got like two eyes in it. How is it? There D- we go. I am Donnie P. So D O N N I I P. Yep. Make sure y'all follow her. She's amazing. Um, everything she talks about is real. It's good to have a good perspective from a woman like you, especially when the age we are at. Mm-hmm. But women are just so one track minded. You need to bring that realness in and let them know it's okay to, you know, follow what the fuck you really want. Hey, Stop stars, following man, everybody I else. Get, I want to congratulate you, brother. Oh, man. What's you, you do really good at this thing, man. Oh, like, cute. Aww, like, you, how cute. This is his like third my show. My third show. Really? Yeah, so mm-hmm. what happened was like the, the show started off me and my, my lady, you know, mm-hmm. um, things happen because real relationship, real podcast, whatever. Of course. So we had to keep the show going, um, unfortunately, and yeah. stars came out and yeah, we were thinking, dog. Oh, that's nice. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's my man, yo. We've been through so much together. We actually lived next to each other in an apartment on Greenmount. Bro, it's crazy. That's, oh my God, where we at, Julia? All right, so I actually, yeah, we I wanted to talk about that, right? So, we like, you know, talk. me and Stars, and I, I wonder if you had a, ever had a relationship like this. Like, me and Stars, uh, we became friends because I don't know, I don't know if I ever said this to him, but Stars was that friend that always was in a position to do the wrong thing, but mm-hmm. didn't, but always did the right thing. Mm-hmm. Right, like he's been in a house with my lady. Uh, like, a, like it's been a lot of situations that like he could have tried to fuck her, but he did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was always yeah, like, and we weren't even that cool yet. Yeah, like she like, did me, that, but and I wasn't, told him, like, oh, she did me. This yeah, was like, 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 right. like, we wasn't even that. that that's the thing, that we wasn't even that cool, mm-hmm. but like. I remember like she damn they was talking about something and, and he told, told me because mm-hmm. I could have found out I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. though it wasn't like, even why that you serious. Ain't tell me? You hang right. You feel yeah. me? But he told me. It was like, yeah. and from that, like we really became like close friends. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the girl you with now? No, no, it's on uh, me. Yeah, yeah it's no, I'm talking, wait, what you mean? The girl that DM'd you. Was that your girlfriend? Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm yeah, just talking yeah. about yeah. she she like like he left me in there with a type. This is early. We were just neighbors. And I was just neighbors like early. Because I was waiting for him to come home type shit. And then she had DM'd me. About asking some questions or whatever, I just told him like, "Yo, just let you know, me and Charlie were talking." You feel mm-hmm. me, little shit like that. Yeah, but that's a respect thing. I think that's, that's an integrity too. thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's an integrity. You know what I mean? So, a lot of people like that. So um, I definitely yeah. want to say, "Yo, uh, yeah, you doing your thing, dog." I'm riding out, man. Shit, if it's hot, right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna help out. We wanna do bring amazing people in like Donnie. You know, just keep this thing going. Give the conversation going on men and women. I think it's important. I think mm-hmm. we're losing real conversation. I think we're yeah. losing. And I'm glad we was able to have emotion and like being mm-hmm. real. Like we're Bottom. getting in this lifestyle of just being like. Like, come yeah. on. What you got going on? What you, like, what you about to do? Like, what's up? Oh, you, right, you, you, shorty. you put that shit in you. So I'm waiting. Waiting. <laughs> well, you so said I'm 68 having a show, 68 uh, hopefully. Um, okay. At the end of June. A show? Host, like a, a comedy show. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. So you're a comedian? I am. You said mm-hmm. that. She did say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the world might not know. So, what the? Wait, wait, wait. Because what I see it's ain't different. funny. Ain't yeah. shit funny. You gotta shit. That should be the name of your show. Ain't, ain't shit funny. Well, my first show was called This Shit Funny. Oh. Hey, flip on it. It could be so, part two. Ain't shit funny. Ain't shit funny. <laughs> so, ain't so, shit, so what, what what's the show you had? You, you you're getting uh, people to come on with you, or oh, the thing that I do on Tuesdays. Yeah. Oh, okay. So every Tuesday is me, my comedy manager, and I mean my comedy mentor and my homegirl who's my manager. Okay. Mm-hmm. We. I mean, well, we I have just to keep rocking back and forth. We keep touching that mic. I know. Mm-hmm. You know what's gonna happen. Um, y'all lip gloss is popping, y'all. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um. Yeah. About the you said your man, your um, manager and your sisters hey, yo. and your cousin. <laughs> On the show? No, no, your manager. No, so it yep. started because one day I had went live. I was on home, on the phone with one of my homeboys, and I was like, "Oh, we should get on live and talk about this because the conversation sounds deep." Yeah. 
and then me and him went live and then my comedy manager was in the comments and was like shit put me in on it like mm. and then we joined him live and then him and i was like we should do this shit every week like right let's do this shit every week and then we just decided to come together instead of being that's dope over the phone what's the, tell me the funniest joke you know you, you got I, have, I can't tell you that you can't tell me a joke give me a, give me a joke can't. listen yo come like here asking a rabbit a rabbit no no yeah. no i mean yo spit some balls yo. no no wait wait shout right. out to who at I never forget. One of my friends was like, yo, you're a comedian? Tell me a joke. He said a joke. It was shit was funny. <laughs> who I could do that? I, I can't do oh, that. Man, that's cool. She, she, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't so. like rap when people ask me rap. That should be like. Like what? But that's wit rap. Let me hear rap. Yo, I walk in the street. <laughs> yeah, because I don't purposefully say some stupid shit. Like a lot of people when I'm in public, they be like, oh my God, you the girl. Can you say call me back? And it's just like. Can you say what? Call me back. Call me back. You know, and I be like, call me back. Yeah. Oh. At the end of the videos, a lot yeah. of girls ask me that. People you do be saying it. You that. do it. I do it sometimes, but it's a little, it's weird because I be like, You should charge niggas for that. Call me back. Give me five dollars shit. And they be like, No, you gotta say you how you're saying. Shut up. Yeah, they said the it's a lot. When she came in, she came in, she was like, uh, What the fuck she asked for? She said some DC shit. I'm trying to work. <laughs> she was like, what? what was coming from a wax? <laughs> she said, What? She said, I came from the wax. I'm like, I what didn't the fuck? Walk. I said, Wax. Yeah, they got a yeah, kind of country for real up there. Nah, she said, The wax. Hell yeah, y'all country. Say McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> Who the fuck is McDonald's? They gonna be like, say two. Say say you. No, everybody, you can tell somebody from the, the, the area up there, they say McDonald's the same way. Not me. For me, it's the uh, charging block. The like, charging block. Like, the way y'all say block. Charging block? Block. 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 The charging block. Oh, block. now you gonna say it real. <laughs> How you say it? The charging block. block. There you go. Block. There you go. <laughs> Yo, yo, uh, see it, yo, good conversation, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Jim and I scope your podcast episode 68. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it, man. Yeah, that's it, right. man. That's All right, we good. Hey, yo, free shot day. I always get it. <laughs> that's, 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 every episode. Come back, Shaw day. Free, free shot day. Free shot day. Come on back. Yo.